Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing all of the things, starting out with some cleaning motivation, and then I will be sharing some cozy winter decor finds from Target, as well as a couple of recipes for you guys. One keto salad recipe, as well as a recipe for the kids that I reach for all the time. It's so easy and they love it. And then showing you guys how I kind of transitioned a little bit from Christmas into winter decor in the house. I'm still working on it, but I do have have um, like most of the main area done for right now so anyways all right let's hop on into today's video I hope you guys had a fabulous holiday season and that you're starting out this new year smashing your goals setting yourself up for some real manifestation you guys know that I'm such a believer in manifestation it's absolutely a real thing tell yourself that it is going to be a great year and it will be so all right, with 2021 coming in full force this week, I needed to get my house under control. I mean, oh my goodness. Riker will be two next month and he is just a tornado. In that first clip, you saw me cleaning up a bunch of stuff on the floor. Within like two seconds of me going to the bathroom, he had torn open a bag of popcorn, brown rice, tore all of his diapers out of the diaper caddy. Just insanity. If you guys can relate to this, leave it in the comments down below. Are your two-year-olds or toddlers just absolute tornadoes? I know I'm not the only one with just a tornado of a child. He's so cute though, so it definitely makes up for it. But anyway, I'm just sorting out the kids' toys um, into bins here. I've talked a little bit about this in the past, but I try to organize out the toys. A lot of it is for Kaya just because it's so much easier for her to play with her Legos and easier for her to play with her dinos and Polly Pockets and animals if they're all sorted into bins. And I just use the cheap ones from Target. I think they're like $1.99 each, the Sterilite containers. So I am working on more of a toy organizational system here. You guys know I've mentioned this many times, but we are working on a new setup here in the living room, renovating this area, doing some built-ins on either side of this wall. This media center will go. Um, we're actually going to be putting in a fireplace so that'll be super exciting but all of the toy organization and we have lots of like board games and things like that that I just need more space for so I am lacking the space in this house and we're going to be staying here for at least another year um, I will be sharing our like moving process we just need a bigger house there's like no crazy move like happening here just a bigger house because we want to plan for baby number three and this house is just stretched to its very limits so I'm trying to make the best with what we have here as far as space by including some more organizational areas such as those built-ins on either side of the media wall we'll have bins in there and spaces for board games things like that and also we do have a Nintendo Switch so I plan to have that stored in the side cabinets as well once they're installed so stay tuned for all of the renovation and DIY ideas over on the m, &M Rustics channel because I will be sharing all of those building projects with you over there which is linked down in the description box below for you anyways I'm going to let you enjoy some of this cleaning Kaya was supposed to be having rest time I kept her home this day just because it was that awkward day in between the holidays and getting back into preschool slash daycare and I wanted her to have a wind down day in between. I find that really helps. So she's resting on the couch and just kind of hanging out. But anyway, all right, let's get into the cleaning motivation.
So in this clip here, I'm actually, I've been transferring like my Gain and Dawn dish soap over to my Mrs. Myers bottle. Um, just because I'm in between Grove orders right now, I use Grove Collaborative for a lot of my cleaning products and the Mrs. Myers bottles, like the dish soap bottles, just fit so much better on my tray. I'm considering switching over to like, you know those like olive oil glass bottles and putting my dish soap in there just because space-wise it's so much better on the counter. I'm so weird when it comes to my counter. I like hate having stuff on there um, and it's just been collecting more and more over the years So I try to minimize that as much as possible. Also, I just got one of those baby dashes um, A couple weeks ago and I've been sharing a ton of recipes over on TikTok and on my Instagram reels a little bit on Like good keto recipes now keep in mind like I so yes, I'm keto um, as I've said before like with the approval from my doctor my dietitian but I try to stay dairy free 90% of the time so I have like one or two meals a week where I do like chaffles or I have like cream cheese on green peppers those are like the bomb of course TikTok made me do it it's so good but I try to stay away from cheese as much as I possibly can because it does stall my weight loss but also I am a little bit lactose intolerant so it upsets my tummy a little bit so I just try and stay away from dairy if I can but anyways the house just a disaster I feel like these days I cannot keep up with it does anybody else feel this way it's just constantly cleaning here in the house and like the counters are always dirty there's stuff on the floor all the time and the vacuum is still not working correctly um, we do have a Dyson and we've had it for about three-ish years um, and the motor had like quit working on it it does still have suction power so I can vacuum you know to a certain extent and it works but the motor head isn't working so that brush head isn't like working the best so I am waiting for a replacement via the warranty because I do have a good warranty service through Dyson um, so hopefully I will have a working vacuum sometime soon in the near future I feel like there's always something it's like the broken house saga you know like the dishwasher series thankfully the dishwasher is now working but now it's the vacuum, it's just one thing after another. Thank goodness it's nothing big and crazy like the water heater or something, but anyway, I feel like this is relatable content for you guys because everything's always breaking in our houses, right? Especially with kids. I feel like it's such a common thing. <laughs> All right, so here's what I found at Target. I had originally, been, I was like talking in here, but the audio wasn't super great because I was just using my phone. But these guys, those wood trays are so great for some charcuterie trays. Those are my like, absolute favorite. Or like cinnamon rolls or tacos or cheese and meat. It's so good. Um, and then I love the Magnolia line for their like plates and their measuring cups. Here are some good cozy winter blankets. So I love this like sweater type of material that chunky knitted like sweater material is the best. Also the pillows that go along with it. I wasn't totally in love with these pillows but they have a good texture. Um, this basket was really cute. Just an FYI this is where I find all of my vases I have in the house for fairly cheap at Target. You can catch them on sale once in a while and look at these super cute diffusers I found. I know it's not like cozy winter style but this like bohemian style wood one was adorable the cactus would be so cute like in a room or something and then just this like little mini one I thought was adorable for like an office or whatever Um, now, switching gears again, we are making those recipes that I mentioned earlier in the video. Now, this is one that I do all the time for the kids. I take a tortilla. I have low-carb tortillas because that's just what I had on hand. You can use any kind of tortilla, and I'm using my panini maker. I spray it down first with Pam, and then I put provolone, pizza sauce, and pepperonis in there, and it is a hit with the kids. And for myself this evening, I'm making a cheeseburger salad. 
salad or a dairy-free Big Mac salad. Um, I do have a TikTok on this as well. You can see me recording a TikTok actually in parts of this footage. So what I do is I take a pound of ground beef. I just get my ground beef from Sam's Club. I believe it's like 80 or 90%, not super sure. You can also do this with ground turkey or ground chicken, but I'm just sauteing about a half an onion, quarter to half of a large onion with the hamburger so that those are translucent. Make sure your hamburger is cooked thoroughly and then you're good to go as far as the meat. Now I'm switching gears here again and I'm cutting up that, like terribly cutting up that um, like little like tortilla pizza thing for the kids. So good. And I'm munching on some of the cheese that like melted off that like got all crunchy and delicious. So the kids love that recipe and they will ask for it all the time. Um, now switching back to my salad. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here. I'm just like cooking dinner. This is what it looks like. This is real life. Um, I am chopping up some Clausen, Clausen, whoever you say it, pickles. These are my favorite. They're so good. Um, I'm dicing some of those up and now I am taking a half an avocado, dicing it into cubes and that is going to be the toppings for the salad. I take a huge handful of mixed greens, put it into a bowl with all the toppings, about a tablespoon or two of ketchup. I would reach for sugar-free ketchup if you're low carb or keto. Um, and then I also included a little bit of mayo. I did a tablespoon of mayo and like about, a, I would say about a teaspoon or two of mustard. You mix it all together and then you can plop it on the plate. Now again, for the ketchup, I'm using regular ketchup here. This is like a lazy keto style salad, but this is dairy free and the carbohydrates were still less than eight grams total for this salad with the fiber included. Doesn't it look so good? It tastes exactly like a Big Mac, it's so good. So here we are again, switching gears, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of my winter decor that I like transformed and transitioned from my Christmas decor. I absolutely love this new vase that I got for Christmas. It's from the Magnolia line at Target. My mom got it for me, I love it so much. I just added some candles up here. I moved like the little towel ladder over here kept some of those like faux like Christmas trees with the burlap on them just to keep it cozy and wintry and I also have this super cute scroll sign I love it I got it from the Minnetonka General Store in Minneapolis it's so cute so anyways all right guys I'm going to end the video there for today I I hope you enjoyed all of the cleaning and decorating ideas and recipe ideas today and I will see you on Thursday for another really fun video okay bye guys